How can we go from having to outsource or round trip projects to finishing everything inside of Premiere on time and on budget? That answer in this video of the top five Premiere Pro plugins that sets filmmakers apart. There's a lot of duties and tasks in making a great film. Uh, some tasks require special software where you have to leave and go outside of Premiere and others require a special skill set or special knowledge. But what if there were tools or plugins for Premiere that could solve a whole host of issues and help us to get results quicker? Instead of having to go to After Effects for motion graphics or VFX or Audition for audio or Resolve for color grading, what if we could finish everything right inside of Premiere. So here are the top five Premiere Pro plugins that can be a game changer for your productions. Starting with number five, Motion Array Premiere Pro Transitions. This first one is a package from our friends at Motion Array and includes some filters and effects like a long shadow effect, flicker, chromatic aberration, but the bulk of the package are transitions. Now these are actually Premiere Pro compatible transitions, not presets, so there's no need to deal with copying and pasting adjustment layers. Just simply click and drag one over the top of a cut like you would with any other built-in transition and do a little dance. And of course these are customizable. In the effects control panel, we can enable or disable the motion blur, modify the amount, change the center or anchor point of the transition, the scale, etc. With this package, you'll find every type of transition imaginable and with it, you get over 40 transitions. So why do I like these? Well, I've tried other similar products on the market, but with a lot of them, they're very taxing on the system, likely because of motion blur. But these are different and have been optimized in a way for smooth as butter playback without having to render. Number four, Red Giant's Primac here. In my humble opinion, this is the best keyer on the market. Now don't get me wrong, Ultra Key that comes with Premiere and Key Light with After Effects are pretty good, but with them, you usually have to spend more time refining and tweaking, while with Primat Keyer, it just works, even with a single click using the Auto Define Key option. One way I like to use it is for keying out the sky to do a sky replacement with something that is more dramatic or add graphics behind a subject. Now, the only caveat is, is that you can't get this as a standalone plugin. You have to buy the entire VFX suite, but still it's a great value because the suite comes with a lot of other compositing and cleanup tools for After Effects. And you get the amazing Null Light Factory for both Premiere and After Effects. If you've ever heard of the Null Light Factory, it's one of the best tools for creating realistic lighting effects and lens flare. And in fact, it deserves to be on this list just by itself. All right, number three, Era 5 Bundle from AccuSonus. I included this also as part of my top five Final Cut Pro plugins because it's simply amazing. Of course, you can fiddle around with the built-in tools in Premiere or export to Audition, but this is a way to avoid that. With the Era 5 Bundle, we can fix noise issues, level the audio of voice recordings, and do all kinds of audio sweetening with just the turn of a knob. This is particularly great if you're like me and you don't wanna specialize in audio, but you know that audio is important and it can easily make or break a film. For me, I just don't like messing around with equalizers and noise reduction parameters. None of that makes sense to me, but with Era 5, it's simple. The bundle includes plugins for noise removing, voice deepening, voice auto EQ, voice leveler, reverb remover, de-esser, de-clipper, and plosive remover. I know that's an extensive list, but with all of these, they got us covered. Number two, Mocha Pro from Boris FX. Now we're pulling out all of the big guns because Mocha's planar tracker is one of the best trackers in the world. In fact, they won an Academy Award for it. Now, of course you can find a stripped down version in After Effects, but when you get the pro version, you not only unlock its entire tool set, but you also get to start using it inside of Premiere. Pretty sweet, right? 
The mass tracker inside Premiere is quite limited. It tracks movement to a certain degree, but it doesn't track shapes that change over time. With Mocha Pro, you can track any surface or object and create masks for all sorts of moving shapes. Practical uses would be doing screen replacements on TVs and smartphones or doing something creative like sticking a logo on a wall or other surface. This plugin alone makes Premiere a VFX and rotoscoping workhorse without having to go to After Effects, so I suggest checking it out. And finally, at number one is CinemaGrade. Now the funnest part of finishing any film is doing the final color grading. It's this last step that makes films look big budget and pushes them over the top. Now there are color tools found in the Lumetri color panel of Premiere, but the interface isn't always intuitive and learning color correction with the color wheels and curves can be a steep learning curve. However, with CinemaGrade, you can bypass these tools that are based on concepts dating back to the 90s and color grade right in the viewer directly in the scene. You can think of it kind of like point and click grading. For instance, if we wanna change the color of the sky, we can simply just click on it and drag. If an actor's face is too dark, we can click on it and drag up. And if we wanna boost the color of something in a scene, we can do it by clicking on it and making the change right in the viewer. If you're coming from a photography background, then the controls will seem familiar to you with a Lightroom-like inspector. And perhaps the most powerful benefit of using CinemaGrade is that it features a guided workflow that walks users through the entire grading process following the same methodologies as top colorists so they don't get lost. Say you have a huge collection of LUTs. Well, why choose them from a drop-down list when you can get real-time previews as thumbnails? A few other things worth mentioning is the look transfer tool for copying the color palette of your favorite looks. A false color feature similar to the feature found on field monitors for getting proper exposure. And an auto match feature for the X-ray color checker charts. All of this to make color grading super fast and easy so you can elevate the look of your films without the overwhelm. And these are my top five Adobe Premiere plugins for setting your films apart without having to leave Premiere. If you use any one of these plugins or found this guide helpful, please give the video a like so that it will help others to discover these amazing Premiere tools. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of our next video. Until next time, enjoy your day. Now, I'd be being disingenuous if I didn't offer you a full disclosure. This video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned, but we are the creators of CinemaGrade and it's what makes this video possible. As a colorist and one who struggled early on in my career with color grading, this plugin has proven to be a game changer for those who need to get a professional look but don't have the time to specialize as a colorist. We created CinemaGrade to make getting a high-end look for your films easier and faster. And you don't have to take my word for it because you can try it out free for seven days and on top of that, for a limited time only, you can get 20% off of CinemaGrade with coupon code YouTube20 at checkout. I'll have a link for CinemaGrade in the description below so you can try it out risk-free and get a special discount. All right, over and out. Enjoy these Premiere Pro plugins.